guys, welcome to Ally Edge. So what I'm doing today is I'm reshaping the head of the hammer and then polishing it. I'm showing you how to tune up your hammers, your auto body hammers. When you're doing auto body work, when you have hammers that are all chipped up and marred up and whatever, every time you take a hit, you know, you leave a mark in the metal. So if you hit it 10,000 times, you know, you have 10,000 marks. Well, if you have five or six marks in the, uh, the, in the hammerhead, you hit it 10,000 times, you're gonna have 5,600, thousand million billion marks in your damn metal. That was some great math. You like that? That was <laughs> I went awesome. To <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm polishing around the edge right now to take that 90 degree off there. And then the next step, this is really just like a tech tip to tune up your hammers is all I'm doing. So the next step is, uh, you know, this is, this is what they look like right now. And I'll show you how to get them to look like this. And you can see the difference. So I'll show you how to get the hammers where they look like this. <clears throat> so the next thing I do is uh, I take this is 600 grit wet dry paper and you want to use a high quality brand like 3M uh, the cheaper stuff doesn't seem to work the same and spray it down with some WD-40 If you have somewhere where you can do this comfortably, you know, it helps a lot too. Like right now I'm taking a, a hole that I drilled in the table, sticking the hammer in there and then just kind of pressing on it so it stays in there. You could use a vise or almost any place that you can stabilize it. And all this does is get the fine scratches out. You want to make sure to wipe it on your pants. Let me do it one more time. I'm sure that uh, all the people doing their laundry with WD-40 on their pants are pretty happy. Yeah, your wives will love that. <clears throat> and then this took out all the uh, scratches from the uh, sanding, sanding this on the belt sander. And then I'll go ahead and take this over here and start sanding it or uh, polishing it with the uh, die grinder. And don't be afraid to reshape your hammerheads. If you have something that, you know, it's not working right for you, like on this one right here, you can see that I polished it. I completely sh reshaped the whole head so it's round. And uh, just put it on a grinder and shape it or use a grinder. Uh, a four inch, four and a half inch grinder with like a sanding disc and sand it and get it to where you want it. It helps a lot. And you don't have to film this whole thing of me uh, you polishing this. You don't want a real time video? Yeah, I mean, if you want. I don't care. <laughs> I wonder what our people want. So this is a, a dual orbital sander. And this is 80 grit, 3M paper that I'm using. Velcro paper. All these. Uh, is that Velcro or? or yeah, this is, this is just a stick it, stick on style. It's uh, Velcro. Okay. And uh, this is a snap on dual orbital sander, but you don't need to use a snap on. You could use a Harbor Freight or whatever. I mean, they all work pretty much the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and polish this with the paper. And then when I'm done polishing it, I'll polish it one more time with the, with the die grinder and show you how that works. You want to wear safety glasses when you're doing this kind of stuff, too.
And that right there takes pretty much all the scratches out. And then I'm going to take the die grinder, and this is Jeweler's Rouge. I'm going to polish the, uh, take the Jeweler's Rouge and put it onto the die grinder. And this is just a wool pad that you can buy like at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever to, to polish with. Polish, you know, stuff, make it look like chrome. And what Jeweler's Rouge is that? Which, um, Th there's, there's a couple kinds, right? Yeah, this is medium. There's okay. brown. There's, uh, which is, uh, like cutting and then there's medium, which is blue. And then there's white, which is polishing to like a super crazy white, uh, white, uh, real bright chrome. So white is going to be your finest. So this is a medium because these hammer handles are, uh, pretty hard. So you want something that's a medium that, that'll really polish it up. And then the uh, last step is just to give it one last polish. And I usually use a soft material like my shirt because it's there. <laughs> That's essentially just taking off the jeweler's rouge, right? Yeah, I'm just wiping the rouge off the wheel or off the uh, hammer. And you can see how shiny it is now, like a mirror. Thank and then you. now when you're, sh when you're shaping metal or hammering metal, metal or using a dolly and a hammer, Every time you hit that, it's it's not leaving a mark on the metal. It's just, uh, you're just planishing it. So there's your tech tip for the day. Appreciate you guys watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, hit the bell. That way you got notifications when, when our next video comes out. We're gonna try to do a video every other day if we can. We'll see what happens. If I can, I'll do a video every day. But being that we're so busy uh, with a bunch of stuff in the shop, we'll see what happens, and I'll let you know and go from there. Thanks for watching.